We're done. Okay. Now we gotta pray. We just gotta preach. Alright. This is this is that's it. This is it. This is a wrap. This is over. We're dead. Ready? Three, two, one, draw. I think I did. I think I did. One, two, three. Oh god. Okay, he's over there. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. I'm dead. Just die. Just die. You got me. Let's go. Holy shit. Oh, there's fun time fight. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, I fucking could have easily dodged that, Michael. You just you just can do the game, bro. Oh gosh. It feels like oh, gosh. Let's go! Fuck yes! Finally! Oh my gosh! Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. Oh Jesus, what the fuck? What the fuck? Just go! Come on! We gotta go to the suit. Oh! Get electrocuted! <laughs> Freddy? Please? What is this? I'm sorry. Gregory? No! What? What? Are you for reals? Gregory, how could you? <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Alright. What's up guys, welcome back to the Bonjour Gaming Channel and welcome to the Finals of Freddy 10th Anniversary Special on the video. That is right guys, 10 years of Finals of Freddy's, it's been here for 10 years. That is absolutely crazy, this game was just coming out and releasing since I was freshman. Um, of course I'm a bit late to it, um, most of all of the celebration kind of ra kind of wrapped up on the 8th, but you know what, I kind of want to continue this as well. I was wanting to make a video on Finals of Freddy's 10th Anniversary. I just didn't know how to go with it or how to proceed with it. But then I decided why not crash every single game into basically one video. We go over every single topic, 10 days of Five Nights at Freddy's, 10 parts of this video will just be all part of Five Nights at Freddy's. This is all going to be on one video. We're going to be starting from day 1 to day 10. So day 1 will be my Pop Goes. So I already played my Pop Goes, but when I recorded I didn't really add much to it, but I just want to at least like, you know, play it for the geek channel and so that I at least attempted to play it. Um, it is a fun game, you know, I never beat the last night because it seemed like the last night was just difficult to do. I'm on day five, you guys can see, like I did one, I did one, two, three, four, five, but day five for some reason has been kicking my lately. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's a fun game. We got pizza. Uh, we have to pick this pizza real quick. What are we waiting on? I'm waiting on some fucking talents! Yeah, I'm sorry. And like in this part, I kind of focus a little bit just so I can... Oh man, we're cutting it close right now. No, <laughs> please. Uh, it's, it's shocked. It's over. It's over. Damn, that was a wrap. That, that sucks. <laughs> that was that, that was just bad. That was just fucking bad. I, I, can't, I can't beat that night. I don't know why. That night is so hard to deal with. No, I didn't want to. I guess we're trying again. I didn't want to. Can we just leave to the door, please? Pop goes. Why are you so hungry? That makes no sense. We're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked. Oh, we're not cooked. Oh, we're so fucking back. Now we're cooked. We're cooked. No, we're not. We're not cooked. Now we're cooked. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I know you want to drink. I don't. I, I don't understand. This is like, this is just micromanaging bush. And there's a bunch of little games to go with as well. I haven't beat any of these games yet, so I mean, 
Yeah, that was pretty simple. Uh, let's just roll with this one, I guess. Yeah. Pet control. This was a cool one. This involved my hell diver skills. You know, I'm a good hell diver. I'm a god at this game. Oh, f oh, f oh, I'm, I'm throwing. Oh, god, I messed up. Okay. Uh, I, I threw, I threw, I threw, I, 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 I f***ing threw. Uh, what was, what was we have? Um, whack a rabbit. Move left and right and hit the hammer with the garden annoy- Hit the garden annoyance with your hammer. Use the middle button to swing, but be careful not to hit the empty holes or potential shock hazards. Okay. Oh, Oh, I'm, I'm going crazy right now. Oh, we had to hit a hundred. We had to hit a hundred twenty of these things. Jeez. Okay, what the f is that? Oh, no miners. Oh. Where's about to hit these things? Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. Songs of this game is great though. I like the songs of this game. Get back down there. <laughs> there we go. Easy. Jeez. <laughs> My fingers. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Beat the whack rabbit game. Menorah, yeah, that's cool. That was the first time I ever beat one of those games. Oh, a diary. What's this? What do we got? Menorah the Mouse. Penelope, 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 Menorah Quinn. Species, Wood Mouse. Age, 19. Gender, female. Birthday, December 28th. Body color light brown, special color orange, roll super fans. Like the Pop Goes Pizzeria, mostly Pop Goes. Just like Robots Pizza, seeing Pop Goes upset. Wait a minute. Isn't Pop Goes a robot? I don't understand. Okay. Bio Menorah is absolutely obsessed with Pop Goes and frequently visit the pizzeria to see him. She, she doesn't even like pizza. Her real name is Penny, but she has given herself the nickname Menorah. I think I'm saying that correct, but if not, please let me know if I'm not. So that's her name is, is a pun. Are you a man or a mouse? What? Okay. <laughs> Just like her idols. The crew often get her involved with her with their antics. Well, that's nice. Well, uh, I, I, I don't know much about Pop Goals lore or anything like that, but yeah. Um, I think that's it for my pop goes right now because and I don't think there's any more for me to go over with in this video um, Again, my pop goes. It was fun. I liked it. Uh, it was very peaceful. It was very calming But it's not like you know scary or anything. There is a bunch of dark secrets in this game that you can find um, But I, I never again like I said I never got around to finding them Overall though, this was a very interesting spin-off game a confirmed spin-off game. This is kind of confirmed spin-off game, um, but you know, it's just very. Thank you for doing this. Oh, look, little box, little word in the bottom. Thank you for doing this. Um, but you know, it's open one. One of them hides until the last moment. <clears throat> oh really? Um, maybe I might just take a look at that later. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it up there. Next, we're gonna go up over Joy of Creation. I'll see you there. <laughs> 
What's up guys and welcome to the joy of creation this part of the video right here is most likely what most of you guys might be tuning in The joy of creation is one of the scariest uh, FNAF fan game out there to exist besides a couple more the Joy of creation is now fully backed up by Scott Cawthon and there's gonna be like a rebirth like a remaster I guess or a remake I'm not sure fully but yeah, I'm very excited for it of course uh, this game I never really played this game back then and I'm, I'm kind of excited that the developer is gaining some recognition from Scott Cawthon. Um, I am actually, you know, terrified of this game. This game right here scares me. Like, I'm not lying to you. Like, this game is, like, you're gonna see a clip right now. I should try to record this. I do have, like, my original recording of this video. Uh, I was planning just to do a joy creation by itself, but then I decided to just cram everything together. So you're gonna see the first part of the video right now. But I'm gonna at least try to get through this for you guys, or at least try to get some attempts to run in. Maybe update you guys on what's been happening. Um, I did some... From, from my, what I've seen... We gotta get fuses? Oh. Okay, let's do that. Okay. I don't know how to start this. So where's that at? I think... Does that mean he's out here? Like, to the right. Okay, that, it does. That's, 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 that's how it works. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so... He's in here. There we go. Got you. Um... So I guess we charge the flashlight for a bit. No flashlight's fine. All right. Oh gosh. What's going on? My recording's starting to fuck up right now. Okay, there's Freddy. Freddy's to our left. There we go. Crap. Fuse, I need a fuse, I need a fuse. Come on, game. Okay. Go, 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 go. Uh, we gotta repair the flashlight. We gotta repair the flashlight. Oh, the flashlight runs on the fuse? I did not know that flashlight runs on the fuse. Holy. <laughs> okay. He's to the left, I think. That's to the left. Come on, man. Oh crap, Chica. <laughs> Alright, we gotta stay around avoid Chica, avoid Chica, we gotta do hide and seek, hide and seek, hide and seek. Okay, 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 okay. I think we might die. Oh, power's gonna go out to the place. I... This is not good. Oh, oh I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm... Oh, I'm dead. Oh no. I'm dead. It's shocked. 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 Come on! I can't do it! Oh, I'm shocked. It's shocked. It's shocked. It's shocked. No. I can't do anything. I'm panicking. Okay. Kill me. Just come here. Be quick. Do it quickly. Please. Don't give me anticipated. Dude, why is this taking so long to die? Just do it! Just do it! 
Just do it. Kill me. End my misery. This is all saying in the video. End my misery. Hello, Ian. Everybody there? Come on, kill me. Okay, we're going to the five stages of depression. Okay, I, I, look, kill me quickly so I can move on with this video. All right, you get to kill me and we get to move on. I don't want to move. No, nope. you can come in here. I'm not going out there. All right, you're not going to have me go out there to get myself killed. You come in here. All right, you come here and face me. I don't go out there. Actually, I'm not, I don't know what the fuck to do with this shit. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, what the f***? Freedom. I have constructed this scenario just for you. What? I believe you call this... A game. The world shall be familiar to you. Find the bear and blind it. Do this until the clock completes a full rotation. Do not let the power go out. I mean, the power is out. I'll be watching over you. Uh, what? Good luck. It's and then now we're gonna go ahead and do like an official run because i guess that run right there was a tutorial run <laughs> i I, did, I was going serious mode on the tutorial run so i didn't wasn't aware that it was like you know the beginning of the game i was like confused at that point <laughs> i was confused at that point of where like what's supposed to happen or what's going on i was just standing in the dark for a couple moments and it was just very funny um but yeah, now we're gonna do an official run. I think we're just most likely we'll just do like one or two runs, maybe. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do it then. I'm actually terrified, by the way. I don't like this game. This game's terrifying. I might just do one run. <laughs> to be honest with you, I might just do one run. Jesus. What just happened? Uh, I was just. Creator, I have constructed this scenario just for you. I believe you call this a game. The rules should be familiar to you. To win, find a bear and blind it. Do this until the clock completes a full rotation. Do not let the power go out. Okay. I'll be watching over you. Good luck. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Oh, f okay, the power should be fine now, right? I don't think I should be worried about the power. Yeah, it's fine. I keep pressing escape. Damn it, why isn't escape a button that I can use? Okay. I keep pressing escape. Okay. I like this game, by the way. It's so realistic, and I hate how realistic this looks. I escape, escape. I, I keep pressing escape. This escape button is gonna be my f downfall. It's gonna be my downfall. Oh my gosh! Why am I pressing escape? Joy of creation. Except the joy is the, the, except the joy of my dismay is my, the my escape button. This game's terrifying. Ooh. Okay, so you go. So it's simple. You go in here. And you turn to the left and blast his face. Okay. I'm not ready for this.
so you gotta blind this guy a couple of times and then he'll go and then you just have to go while avoiding Bonnie and Foxy. Okay, we gotta go put batteries in there. I think my main issue right now would be the batteries. The power of this game. Because you gotta charge this thing too. Wow. You gotta charge your flashlight. You gotta change everything. Okay. We got lucky right there. Ooh, that was Bonnie. So Bonnie, you can't look at him. It's basically a boss fight. You just gotta go against uh, Freddy. What was that noise? I'm turning on my microphone. My uh. Come on, hurry the f up! Damn, dude, I hate how long this one dude take on his damn cam on his damn views. Just like no sense of surviving. We gotta keep an eye out for Foxy now. Come on, come at me. Like I know for you, I'm ready for you, ass. I got you. Ooh, the hell just scared the crap over me. I was gonna. Oh man, if I had a sh up, I would have. Lucky I did take a bathroom break. We're gonna go change the. Don't run out of power. We can't run out of power. We can't run out of power. Wait, we gotta look for Freddy. We gotta look for Foxy too. Okay, Freddy's over there to the right. Think fast, hook it up! Okay, there's bodies to the left. The middle. Okay. Okay, alright, we're doing great. We're doing good. 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 And please, this real quick. Come on, 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 come on. Bonnie, you <laughs> is that my left right? I think that's my right. Okay, we gotta find another fuse real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna check here. Fuck you, really. I can't f***ing be doing this shit. It's shocked. It's shocked. It's shocked, my guys. The power's all gone. I can't have the power go out. I can't have the power go out. I gotta go get the power out. I gotta go get the power out. Nope. It's over. It's f***ing over over we got this okay 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 we got this we're cooking right now we're cooking folks we need to change the battery here we're cooking folks we're not dead yet ready to the right To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. On your six. Okay. Me. Okay, there's a nerf. 
Hey, hey, Chica, don't mess with me, please. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Just fuck. Thank you. You, 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 you're such a. Down four. I need to find four of them. That's crazy, dude. Where's the fucking fuse? I can't attack without a dead flashlight as well. Okay, I gotta check those other flashlights. Just, just those other locations real quick before I die. Is Freddy tag or no? It's cooked. It's cooked. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. It's cooked. It's cooked. It's over. No, Foxy's gonna kill me. Foxy, don't kill me. Foxy. Foxy, chill. Foxy, chill. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna fucking kill me. It's over. It's fing over. It's fing over. It's so fing over. It's over. It's over. It's dead. It's over. It's done. It's shocked. I don't know which cam three. I think it's cam one. Oh, please, Foxy, don't kill me. Make it easier for me. Be in here. Thank you. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. Okay. Does Freddy attack? I don't know if Freddy's attack. I can't check. He could be in cam three for all I know. Okay. He's outside the door window. Alright. What was that? What was that? What was that? Something was in my room. Something was in my room. You saw this? Saw this? I'm not lying to you. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm still alive uh, for this long. It's bottom. It's the bottom one. It's the bottom one. It's the bottom one. What was the top one? Still doesn't make it. Bottom. I lied to myself. I got you guys. Did you remember? I'm panicking. I'm just scared at this point. Shit. Why are you saying that? 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 What? Okay, on my left. What the f? My flashlight dead? Oh, my flashlight is shocked. I was like, alright, Flash, fast, we're just get, trying to get Flash, and then uh, no way he came, I guess. Oh! 
Oh, you move now. Oh, you move. Oh, you move now. Oh, that's f You're f with me, Freddy. Move your ass, bro. Hold up, Chica. Give me a moment. Where's Freddy? Where's Freddy? That's the number. Never mind, I don't have your number. I just got to be quick about it. It's a full rotation, right? I just need to kill him once. Alright, I'm alright. Okay, we got it! Oh, it's over, right? It's over, right? What the f I'm not- I don't like this. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. No, please don't. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. You're stuck? Hey, Scott. Who's calling me? Hello? Creator. You are getting closer. What do you mean closer? Oh, this the threshold. The path. I can see. What are you? What does that even mean? You. Whoa, what? Hey, 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 shoot. Oh, whoa, okay. To be continued. <laughs> wow. I thought I wasn't going to survive. That took 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Give me a moment. Well, that was just a joy of creation demo. Wow, that's... <laughs> I did not expect to beat that whatsoever. I was panicking. That that was a very... That's a very tough demo, I have to say. It's very tough and very not easy to deal with whatsoever. Um, I did like it a lot. The joy of creation does scare me a lot. I'm actually does. I'm, but I'm very happy that I beat it. <laughs> um... But yeah, that was Joy of Creation Demos. Let's go ahead and move on to day three. Before anything, of course, the Joy of Creation Demo is free to play right now. Um, I guess the full game is going to be coming out next year. But of course, I'm very happy for this. It was, it was a good game. Uh, the mechanics not too hard. It just, you know, it's very difficult to do. Or you just had to really micromanage a lot of your power situation. I think that's like the one of the more difficult part to it. Because you don't want to run out of power. But then for some reason, I guess God Cawthon House runs on a bunch of double A batteries, I guess. So yeah. Uh let's go ahead and move on to day two day three, which was I think we're going over the Scott Cawthon interview. <laughs> so on on so with the interactive voice novel, um the so Finance of Freddy VIP, uh, Finance of Freddy VIP and AFK book, basically an interactive novel. I never went through this yet. I haven't gotten around to reading this yet. I heard that it's good, and it's like you know, interactive. You read it, and then you pick, you pick and choose your adventure. Basically, I haven't gotten around to reading it with this part, uh, with this story yet. Mostly due to the fact that I've just been busy recently, so I'm not gonna go over much. I don't know much information about this book. Next is the interview with Docko. Tell me what's in the box. Okay, so yeah, next we're gonna go over uh, the interview with Scott Cawthon. If you guys didn't know, Docco interviewed Scott Cawthon once again. This is the second interview with Scott, and I think it was a blast. I enjoyed actually everything. Uh, I guess we're gonna talk over some points of topics. Uh, the first one is the box. Of course, I forgot what the time set is for the box. Um, 
I think one of the things that Scott Cawthon went over was just like what's inside the box. I think it was one of the one of those interesting topics that everyone kind of want to know for a while, like what's inside the box. And <laughs> of course, the entire internet decided to meme on it, and he was like, "I forgot," or you know, he doesn't know or anything. Um, but in all for reals, I think the the what he truly means behind the story of the box is that in the end, I think that the box was supposed to be. Was supposed to confirm something in FNAF 4 that everyone thought. Most likely, I think it was going to confirm Dream Theory. And I don't think a lot of people like Dream Theories at all. Because it kind of just like... I think it pissed off a lot of people when MatPat released that video, as I remember. And I don't think... I think that was Scott Cawthon's original idea. That it, whatever was inside the box was just, just confirmed what Dream Theory was. But then, like, since there was so much backlash and so much hate for it. Um, it kind of changes. And so, when... It, when each game was kind of released, the context of what's inside the box changed every time. And I think it got to the point where Scott Cawthon forgot what's inside the box or, you know, he just doesn't know what's inside the box. So the box doesn't play any importance no more. I think at this point, we should like cross the box off the list of what's inside it and shouldn't care at this point. Because, of course, you know, a lot of people would like to attach to this box. But I think in the end, I think Scott Cawthon truly means that the box is not that much importance about it, um, anymore. Um, because now the story kind of just ended and yeah sure it does kind of like leave it as mystery of what could be possibly inside the box but in the end i don't think it should matter anymore to prove anything best to leave it alone <laughs> and that was a that was an interesting i think that was an interesting part and i think another interesting part is that he hate the whole uh spring trap uh map math uh spring trap gets uh map pregnant a uh, story i think that's one of the weirdest uh, story in the F finance of free universe uh book so far and I, yeah and i do agree it was and then how the internet meme on it so <laughs> so much but yeah, overall i think the um interview i think the interview with Daco and scott cotton is great again i think scott cotton is a very good guy um and he has a nice voice. I have to say, he does have a nice voice um, on his um, when he speaks to the microphone. He has a nice voice. Um, and, and let's go ahead and touch the final topic that I think everyone caught most people's attention was the collab. Of course, you know he had a uh, Scott Cawthon announced on day four, oh not day four, day five. Uh, there was a collab that was going to happen. Everyone was hyped for it. People thought it was going to be Fortnite, but then Scott Cawthon says this. Um. It seems that you've been more open with collaborations with games recently, the, 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 the Funko one as well. Are you more open to more collabs since we last spoke during the last interview? Uh, like, would you be interested in whatever it is? I don't know, like Fortnite or Dead by Daylight. Have those popped into your head at all or? I'm very careful with collaborations because I want to protect the brand and I want to make sure that Five Nights at Freddy's stays as Five Nights at Freddy's. And there are some games where even if I really enjoy the game, it just doesn't feel like a it doesn't feel like a good match. It feels like a, it feels like a mismatch. The brand integrity is the most important thing for me and keeping everything feeling like it belongs. And so that's really been my only that's really been my only only hesitancy. I feel, I feel like I am branching out a little bit. And I am a little bit more open to those things than maybe I was in the early years, but I'm still very careful about it. We'll just see. We'll, we'll see how things go. Okay. Uh so basically, and at least to the point of where he announced a collab the next day. Um, let me go ahead and get that Twitter post right now. I remember this day too. So we're going to go on and move on to day six, um, which is the collab, right? Day six is the no, day, this is day five. Day five is a call up. My bad. My bad, people. I am for, for forgetting. I am terrible at this. And I do have the Twitter post right here. It was officially announced that Dead by Daylight is doing a collab with Finance of Freddy's. It was a crazy day. I remember people wanted Fortnite. People was hyped for Fortnite. People wanted Fortnite. And a lot, I guess a lot of people were disappointed. But in the end, I think Scott, Scott Cotton was, you know, on point or was correct on doing Dead by Daylight. I think Dead by Daylight was the best choice in this because like he said, he doesn't want to mismatch the game with game that doesn't, you know, match with it. And I will have to say, Fortnite really doesn't match for every single game out there. And it's it, like in the end, like Fortnite is very like, not childlike, but it's very so random, you know? 
but the whole all the emotes how the game plays you know you get goku goku hate master chief kratos you know all those people in that game and i i and I do see Finance of Freddy going in there eventually one day, but I don't think, like, you know, that's what Scott Cawthon wants. And I think Scott Cawthon wants a game where basically it, ca it captured the horror aspect to Finance of Freddy's, which is why I think Dead by Daylight was a good choice in the end of the day. Um, because I, I, I like, don't get me wrong, I like Dead by Daylight, you know, I fucking like Dead by Daylight. I think by the time this video goes up, there will be like a Dead by Daylight video coming out soon um, after it. But Dead by Daylight is actually one of my favorite. Uh, it's one of those games I actually did like. It's just kind of I'm just kind of on and off with it, mostly due to the fact that um, how the game was, or how the same, how the game remained the same for many years without adding new stuff, without adding new game modes or anything like that. But the reason 2VA, I tried it out and it's very fun. I can't wait for that to fully get released. Um, but besides that, I think the Final Fantasy Freddy Dead by Daylight was a good choice for Scott Cawthon. I don't think there's much any other horror game Scott Cawthon can do out there besides Dead by Daylight. Like, I don't think there's any other um, multiplayer horror related. I get Don't Starve Together. You know, he can do that one. Yeah, he could do Don't Starve Together if he wants to go with the indie game route. Is Dead by Daylight considered indie? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good idea. I'm actually hyped for this. I can't wait for it to come out in summer 2025. I'm definitely going to play it. I most likely will live stream it. Um, so yeah, I'm hyped for that one. So let's go ahead and move on to day six, where we go to the Steel Wool announcement. <laughs> the Secret of the Mimic. That's the official new game of Finance of Freddy's. Everyone been knowing about this game was going to be announced sometimes. Everyone was wondering what's going to be the next. Um, story to finance of freddy's or what's the next you know game for it because it's been teased a lot throughout i think uh hub wanted that there's something carnival related going on there's something more is happening and it evolves a lot with the mimic i think if you guys don't remember at the end of a uh, security breach ruin dlc the mimic kind of kills uh roxanne and you played as i forgot her name cassidy right or casey I forgot her name, um, but she got trapped at the bottom of the pizza plex because the yellow bird fallen down and you got attacked by an enemy that we called the Mimic. And if you guys don't know what the Mimic is, uh, you most likely are uh, just a new a FNAF, uh, must be a new FNAF fan. Um, but most people know the Mimic by now. The Mimic is a robot that is, cop is programmed to copy things or it's a whole story that evolves with the story of the pizza plex. If you haven't watched, if you haven't read any of those. But the Mimic is a pretty bad guy. It's a pretty bad robot or AI program that gone rogue. And supposedly that's what, supposedly this is gonna be the secret of the Mimic. And what's interesting I noticed is the puppet song that was playing and behind it. Uh, yeah, that song right there is the puppet song. You can hear it as you remember Find Out Freddy's 2, the puppet song was this. And then you, when you see the face of the Mimic, it looks like the mask of the puppet. It looks like... It looks like the face of the Mimic is entered and you can see tears on his face. It looks like the puppet mask. So it looks like it's supposed to be a fun time variation of the puppet. Like what it's supposed to be, quote unquote. Um... This is my hypothesis. It's supposed to be like a fun time marionette that's inside the box, but it's actually controlled by the AI, uh, the mimic program because of this red eyes. So yeah, it's interesting. I'm I'm very hyped for this. There's a no doubt this is gonna throw the lore under the bus more because it's called the secret of the mimic, and everyone wants to know what the mimic is. So yeah, this I'm very excited for this game i'm happy that you know there's still more games to come and their uh, finance of freddy's it seems to me not going anywhere <laughs> what's up guys and welcome to fire lights of freddy's this is for day seven the fire lights of Fre the five laps of freddy's was a demo that this is a game being developed by click team the same developer the same developer of the same engine on where finance of freddy was originally made from 
and yeah i'm very excited for this uh five nights of five laps of freddy's is like, <laughs> i know i've never thought to see a day that we have like a game where you play a uh, go-kart as freddy fazbear um i am playing on a controller so i just hope i don't remember anything uh lipsticks okay new game um I like all the designs of the character, by the way. This is cool. I'm gonna be the marionette. I like I like the pair. I like the puppet a lot. Cupcake, car, or go kart. You guys will go with the go kart. I think there's only three maps. Yeah, let's go to Fresbury Hills. All right, let's, let's, let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, a chalk? Oh, oh, is left? No, no, actually, we're gonna change it. This, this will be A, and that, yeah, that, I think that's, I think that's way more better. Okay. I had to change the remote control over a bit. What's this? Oh, oh! Oh, you really did that to me, Freddy, huh? You really did that to me? Oh. Oh, oh, it's over for you now, Freddy. Oh, you're an op. We're catching, we're throwing hands with one another right now. Oh. Whoa, wait. Oh, so it does become night eventually. And you have a flashlight. What's what's the battery for? Oh! That was a banana peel. Damn, that banana peel covered the whole ground. Get the battery, get the battery, get the battery. Ow. What happened? Come on, we're gonna go. Drift. The f what, what was that door? <laughs> oh, get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked, idiot. Oh, spring trap? Oh, you're an op already. Nah, wait, we're targeting you. Give me, bring your ass back here. You're an op. Oh, I, I meant I meant to press the red bumper. Okay, so using charge turbo caused you to Ah oh, man, we lost. Oh no, it's just there's five laps? Damn. You know what? I forgot. It's called five laps of five laps of Freddy's for a reason. Hey, hey, chill. Boost! Oh! Okay. So wait, how do you get battery charges then? I don't understand that part. Did someone just steal my battery? Oh, you're an op. You're whoever took my battery. Yeah, I'm, I'm like last place right now. Oh! Damn it, try to jump it. This is a bomb is for FNAF World, as I remember. Kobe! Damn! That was an instant bomb. Bye. I just don't want to get last place. Okay, Freddy, me and you both choke right there, no worries. Freddy, please! Don't take this one! Damn it! That's crazy. Um, that was terrible. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, the sinkhole.
Oh, that's like the pit. That's like underneath the pizza plex, yeah. And Midnight Warderess. Let's go with this one. This is fun. Damn, I didn't think I would enjoy this. Hell yeah, I got the boost. Is that the drift of 87? Oh, Scott. Oh, no, Scott. No, it's fucking Springtrap. Oh, God. It's a bye bad, Scott. I don't want to call you Springtrap. You're not a child murderer. The drift is kind of wonky. Ooh. Oh, the songs go hard. One thing you could... Oh! You're an up. Nerd. Oh, gosh. Oh shit, Springtrap. I think Springtrap just took a shortcut. Oh, I'm throwing right now. Okay, we have our battery up, so so we don't we shouldn't be worried about it, right? Yeah. I think we need to okay, so when it comes to the batteries, you gotta hit those little marks in the bottom ground. Oh, I'm drifting like a god right now. Damn, where Springtrap went? This motherfucker up in the lead. Go here. Damn, the drifting does not help you whatsoever. I think it'd be better just to drift, jump and drift. Ooh. Okay. Oh, spring trap. Look at him. He's tactically moving. The guy's brilliant. <laughs> I think he fell off the course. <laughs> oh, eat my dust. Eat the dust of 87 spring trap. Oh. Oh. I thought I was going. I, I thought I was going crazy mode for a moment. I was not. I was not cooking. Oh, I'm cooking now. Oh, I'm. I'm definitely cooking. I hope this gets multiplayer mode. Watch this drift. Oh fuck! Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, I missed the battery. Ah, oh, I'm throwing. It's chalk. It's th it's over. I think Midnight Mortis was one of the the most remembered game because of the lore implication and as well that banger soundtrack. By the way, I wanted to put that game the soundtrack in this game. Whoever makes like the Midnight Mortis songs or the songs for Scott Coffin, man, they, that guy does that guy does well, man. When you like a baby park arena in this game, I'm just saying. Baby Park and Mario in this game will be f***ing hilarious. If you guys don't know what Baby Park is, then you know. It's like the little small, it's like a one small arena where it's just a big giant circle and you just go around the circle eight times. I hope this game gets multiplayer though. Oh. That, dude. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm getting tossed right now. I'm getting tossed. <laughs> no, please. This, this is how I'm supposed to go. No. <laughs> This isn't how it's supposed to go. <laughs> uh, f***ing hell. Fucking dying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm getting tossed. Oh, I'm getting tossed. Oh, I'm getting tossed. Oh, I'm getting tossed. Let's go. First place. Fucking easy. Six minutes. Damn. We're not being a balloon boy. You are. <laughs> Foxy the part. Let's go with the regular gold card. I like the regular gold card. I don't know why. It's just all right. And this match, map, not match, map, match. I don't know who cares. Eat my dust. I like how the car changed colors, like Mario Kart, when you pick like the standard default car. Oh, all the gift boxes are gone. 
thanks a lot. Okay, we made it to the day shift. So when you survive a night shift, I guess, it's basically you haven't got attacked by that wolf whatsoever. I have not seen a single battery charge. They should really add a minimap to the top right of the game. Just like how Mario Kart has it, like, you know, you can have a little mini-map that shows you the, the map layout. Just so you can see where people are at or what position they are. Man, I'm not catching up to anybody. Oh, I did not know that. I, that was actually- Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa! The songs go. The song is nice though. I like the soundtrack. Oh, in my dust puppet. Oh, you're not gonna get ahead of me. Oh, this turn right here is so confusing. Did that really count for him? That counts. That's bullshit. It, just, it should not count. He had to cross the finish line. He did not cross the finish line. Alright, he was out of bounds. Doesn't count. <laughs> We're gonna do one more, but we'll be playing as the Freddy Fazbear. Because why not? It's five, not it's five lives as Freddy's. And... I'll be voicing Freddy Fazbear. Let's go, superstars. And all for reals, I do, I do hope they added, um... Oh, fuck, I picked this map again. I didn't want to pick this map, I want to pick another one. I kind of want to do Midnight Mortars again. I think that was, like, the better map. Damn! That door just came out of nowhere. Eat my Fazer Blast, nerds. Oh, nice knife shot. I was in phase once. Alright. Good old butter. Alright, now for the very confusing road in the Fight at the Freddy's map. Fuck shit. Bring your ass back to your boy. Whoa. What the f up there? Oh crap, butter. Where's the butter? Okay, bye. Bye, uh, weird rocks and wolf thing. The book. Get the B boost. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you for the boost. Boom, boy nerd. Okay, so jumping does not help you whatsoever. It actually does kind of throw you off a bit. Oh, almost hit the butter. Jump over here. Get the, get the speed boost. Eat my dust nerd. The dust of 87. Oh my goodness. Bomb is utterly useless. <laughs> I think the bomb should just go backwards instead of forward. Just like the just like the the butter. That that's my honest opinion though. Can you draw behind you? I don't know if you can or not. Alright, let's keep going. We gotta catch up the Foxy. We gotta have Foxy winning. It's gonna take the Fazbear Enterprises. It's gonna be Foxy Enterprises. And I don't think that's good for the ch children's and kiddos below. I gotta catch up the Foxy. Give me a rocket! No! Give me a piece of stupid... Oh, where am I going? Oh, I'm throwing! Oh! Oh, it's over, boys! Oh, gosh, I forgot to cap on physics. Ah, Foxy won. Fair game to you, Foxy. Fair game. GG's. So that was five laps at Freddy's. Um, fun game overall. I mean, it's just a demo right now. Of course, I think they're going to add more stuff to it later. And I do hope that they do add multiplayer to this. I think it'll be a fun uh, a fun way to play with your friends and FNAF fans, you know. I mean, like, have live streams where people could, like, you know, like, people could have live stream and play with their viewers and five laps at Freddy's, you know. And I do hope they do add, like, more maps. Like, maybe a map of Final Fantasy Freddy's 1, Final Fantasy Freddy's 2, 3, 4, you know. Um, Carnival map. I do hope that they add more characters, you know. 
I do hope they add like all the variations of Five Nights at Freddy's characters, like you know, Glamrock Freddy, Roxanne Wolf, um, Mon Monty Gator, and anything like that. You know, I do hope they do add more. I think this is one of those games that could be expanded a lot, like you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, like. Like, not that big, but, you know, I do hope, like, they add more carts in it, more more maps, more OSTs, more characters, you know. I think they could do a lot a lot with this game, and I think this is, like, a nice way to make more spin-off games. That, that was fun, and I think that's it. Um, but besides that, I want to do wrap up this video with a nice little uh, ending to it. Now to close this video off, I know, I know, a lot of you are saying right now, where is Into the Pit? Due to financial issues, I was not able to get the game yet. As well, this video is going on long enough and Into the Pit deserved its own video series. So I will be getting to it soon, so keep an eye out for that series. But let's close this off with some good words for Scott Cawthon and Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is a 10 year old franchise at this point. Where was I at 10 years ago? I was in high school, starting out as a freshman. I I suffered a fear of nyctophobia and I had basically zero friends. When I made my friend group that you guys may know today, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, one of them, Joel's Jar, introduced me to Five Nights at Freddy's. At the time, I was really scared of it. It even gave me nightmares at one point. However, the lore and mystery behind Five Nights at Freddy's kept me interested and wanting more. With playing this game more and more, it eventually help me grow out of my fear of things that lurk inside the dark you know so basically i grew up more with this game and every series i always pay attention to every series after that point i pay attention to fun after I was hyped for FNAF 3. I enjoy FNAF 4 even though it scared me a lot. Since I got over my fear of the dark, I started to watch more Let's Plays of horror games. I started to watch Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, 8-Bit Ryan, and then there's the lore part of the community, people that want to dive deeper into the lore and investigate it. Remember the first game theory? <laughs> cringe am i right if you guys know Dako, april ryan the other ryan and rosboski then you guys can most likely remembered when they did this type of content so what is going on guys this is ryan here and this is other ryan here hey everyone rosboski here What's going on guys, Dorco here. And welcome back guys to episode two, season two of Theory Thursday. And in this one guys, we're gonna- Crazy, right? This was when Sister Location was being teased and announced. I remember when I first got my first merchandise that was Finance of Freddy base. It was from Fright Dome. At Fright Dome, they had this Finance of Freddy haunted house. I think I was sophomore at that time or junior. There where I got my first Foxy Plus D, the one with the plastic eye, I think if, if, at this point, I think it's a rare collectible at this point. Unfortunately, I lost it during the hard times of my life, but I was able to get myself a Sansi Foxy plushie. I also have an 8-Bit Ryan uh, merch snapback hat, uh, which he does not sell anymore, unfortunately, because I did like his other style, um, other snapback hat style, but hey, I'm glad to still wear this hat to today. I even remember I got Jackie No Draw, who was an amazing artist by the way, me and her go way back. I basically introduced her more to FNAF and she loves FNAF, even though she does not talk about it a lot. Um, but she does like this game and franchise as IP, she does love Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm a proud FNAF friend and I'm proud to be part of this community. The community that still constantly grow uh, months of the month, months after month, release after release. I'm so be, I'm so glad I'm part of Five Nights at Freddy's community. Uh, I'm the lore keeper of FNAF with my friends. You know, if they have any questions of Five Nights at Freddy's related, they come to me and I always do my best to provide them the answers, even though the lore may be confusing. I'm happy that Five Nights at Freddy is still going strong and seems to be keep gonna be here for a while for the future hopefully it can keep going till my nephew will grow up and i can show them the madness of finance of freddy's um, i know i'm rambling too much but you know finance of freddy's i do have a lot of memories with and i do enjoy this game a lot so i do want to say you know scott thank you thank you a lot scott for the 10 years of me and you of you giving me games to enjoy and the franchise who i constantly enjoy every year you know I enjoy every single Final Fantasy Freddy's release. I enjoy every video I watch. I enjoy the lore behind it, even though it may and may not be confusing. Um, but it was still fun, and I still can't wait to see what's more in the future. You know, I look forward to the next 10 years of FNAF, hopefully. I look forward to the next 10 years of FNAF. 
Remember, Scott, you gotta pump out four more movies after the FNAF 2 movies. Keep that in mind. That's, that, was, that, that was on you. You need to give us four more movies after, after FNAF 2. <laughs> enough for real. But enough for real. Thank you, Scott. I know you may not watch this video, but thank you if you do. And thank you, viewer, for watching this video. If you stuck out this long to watch this ending, how about I ask you some question? When were you introduced to Five Nights at Freddy's? Did you make any new friends from this game? What is your favorite FNAF game? Who is your favorite FNAF character? Are you hyped for the future of FNAF? Did this game impact your life in some way? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And hey, while you're down there, give this video a like if you enjoyed this video. If you want to stay updated on when I do upload, please consider hitting the subscribe button as it does support the channel. Anyways, I do hope you guys have a good day. See you guys back in the pizzeria. Pizza out.